Dear students, this is part two of our chapter six, The Browning Version, a play written by Terence Radigan. We said this chapter is a short extract from the play The Browning Version, written by Terence Radigan. The scene is set in a school. In this chapter, in this short extract, there are three characters. Tablo, Frank, and Millie. There is one more character that is mentioned, and that is Mr. Crocker Harris. Mr. Crocker Harris is Tablo's teacher. Tablo is a boy of 16 who has come in to do some extra work for his teacher, Mr. Crocker Harris. Crocker Harris has not yet arrived and Frank finds Taplo waiting. Frank is another teacher, he is a young science teacher. He arrives and he finds Taplo waiting for Mr. Crocker Harris. Mr. Frank is showing better understanding of student behavior, at least Taplo thinks so. Frank also envies Mr. Crocker Harris and he likes him being criticized by Taplo. While waiting for his teacher, Taplo, a 16-year-old boy, engages in a conversation with Mr. Frank, who is not his teacher. He is a young science teacher and Taplo presents his views in a very frank and straightforward manner, his views about his teacher Mr. Crocker Harris. However, he is also respectful towards him and he likes him, although being much afraid of him. Mr. Frank shows interest in what Tablo is saying and we said he envies Mr. Crocker Harris and he likes to hear him being criticized. Mr. Frank is a young science teacher and Mr. Crocker Harris is a middle-aged schoolmaster. They are different in age, temperament and devotion to their profession. The play also presents the hidden rivalry amongst teachers. It also describes the reaction of Taplo towards his teachers. Mr. Crocker Harris is a strict disciplinarian. He follows rules unlike other teachers. He has a strong hold over his students. He doesn't like flattery and doesn't want people to like him. Taplo is waiting for his teacher, Mr. Crocker Harris, who has not yet arrived. Mr. Frank, another teacher, a science teacher, finds him waiting and starts a conversation with him. Taplo informs that he has come to do extra work for his teacher and he had missed a day of school the previous week and so Mr. Crocker Harris asked him to compensate. Taplo also tells Mr. Frank that he is waiting for his result. Mr. Frank is surprised to know that Mr. Crocker Harris follows the rule of the headmaster declaring the results on the last day of the term. According to Taplo, Mr. Crocker Harris is very strict and, as he says, hardly a human. After this, after he realizes that he got carried away by saying he is hardly a human, he also imitates his teacher's voice. After doing so, he apologizes to Mr. Frank for talking too much. He says, I have gone too far. I got carried away. Mr. Frank pretends to be unhappy, but encourages Taplo to repeat the imitation. 
Mr. Frank points out that Mr. Kroger Hayes is late and Tablo has a chance to go and play golf. He also suggests him that he should read his book, he should read the Aeschylus and be quiet. He just pretends to be unhappy, but he actually encourages him to repeat the imitation. Look, what time did Mr. Crocker Harris tell you to be here? 6.30, sir. Well, he's 10 minutes late. Why don't you cut? You could still play golf before lock up. Here Mr. Frank points out that Mr. Crocker Hayes is late and Taplo should go. He has a chance to go and play golf. We remember that Taplo was mentioning before that he could have easily played golf. To cut means to go away without permission. It means to run away from the class, to stop doing something undesirable, to disappear, to vanish. He tells him, why don't you cut? Why don't you go? Lock up means before school closes. Why don't you go? Why don't you disappear? before lock up, before school closes. Taplo is quite shocked. He says, Oh no, I couldn't. Cut the croc, Mr. Crocker Harris. I shouldn't think it has ever been done in the whole time he's been here. God knows what would happen if I did. He'd probably follow me home or something. And Frank says, I must admit I envy him. The effect he seems to have on you boys in the form. You all seem scared to death of him. What does he do? Beat you all or something. Envy means jealousy. Frank says, I must say I must admit that I envy him. I must agree, I envy him. I am jealous of him. I envy him the effect he seems to have on you boys in the form, in the class. He continues by saying, you all seem scared to death of him. Scared to death means terribly afraid. And he says, what does he do? Does he beat you or something? And Tablo replies, Good Lord, no, he's not a sadist, like one or two of the others. And Frank says, I beg your pardon, excuse me. Taplo says, no, he's not a sadist. A sadist is a person who derives pleasure by inflicting pain or humiliation or suffering to others. One who enjoys troubling others. Tablo says, oh no, he's not a sadist, like one or two of the others. Here, Tablo wants to say that there are some others who might be sadist, but Mr. Crocker Harris is not a sadist, he's not such a person. And Frank asks him, excuse me, I beg your pardon? Here we can see that Frank, first of all, asks Tablo at what time did Mr. Harris ask him to come to school. After hearing that the time was told 6.30, Frank suggests Tablo to go and play golf for a little while as he would be 10 minutes late. Tablo refuses as he is afraid of what would happen if he shows up in his absence and, and he might follow him home. 
Franks tells him that he is a little jealous of Mr. Harris because of the effect he has on all the boys in the class. He asks him if Harris was beating students, to which Taplow says that no, he is not someone who derives pain by hurting others. There are, however, one or two other teachers that like that. Frank is also going to ask him what was he saying about other masters. We can see that Frank, Mr. Frank, who teaches science, doesn't show interest in his subject and he also lacks a dedication and commitment towards his profession. Taplock continues by saying a sadist, sir, is someone who gets pleasure out of giving pain. Frank asks, indeed, but I think you went on to say that some other masters. He wants to ask him, what were you saying about other masters? Whom were you calling a sadist? Tablo says, well, of course, they are, sir. I won't mention names, but you know them as well as I do. Of course, I know most masters think we boys don't understand a thing. But, sir, you're different. You're young, well, comparatively, anyway, and you're science. You must know what sadism is. Frank makes a pause and says, Good Lord, what are our schools coming to? Tablo continues by saying, Anyway, the croc isn't a sadist. That's what I'm saying. He wouldn't be so frightening if, I, if he were, because at least it would show he had some feelings, but he hasn't. He's all shriveled up inside like a nut, and he seems to hate people to like him. It's funny that I don't know any other master who doesn't like being liked. Taplo is saying, no, no, the croc, Mr. Harris, is not a sadist. That's what I'm saying. He wouldn't be so frightening. Frightening means something that causes fear. He wouldn't be so frightening if he were. Because at least it would show he had some feelings. But he hasn't. Here, Tablo wants to say that Sadists also have some feelings, but he is not a sadist. He is not showing his feelings. He is all shriveled up inside like a nut. All shriveled up means having no feelings. Shriveled up means having no feelings. It also means reduced or squeezed. Here, Tablo is explaining to Frank, to Mr. Frank, the science teacher that there are many teachers in the school whose names he will not take, but they are sadists. They think that the boys don't understand a thing, but, however, Tablo says to Frank that he is different from them, as he is young and he is from a science background, and he must know about sadism. Frank, in a, as it looked like a surprising tone, exclaims about the condition of schools. Taplo goes on ranting about his teacher. He shares that Mr. Crocker Harris is not a sadist and yet he has no feelings. He is a type of person whom I hated when people like him. He might just hate it. He further says he doesn't know about any master who doesn't like being liked. Frank says, and I don't know any boy who doesn't use that for his own purposes. Taplo replies, well, it's natural, sir, but not with a croc. Frank, Mr. Frank interrupts him and he says, Mr. Crocker Harris. 
Tableau continues by saying, Mr. Crocker haste. He has been corrected. He was calling Mr. Crocker haste the croc. So he says, the funny thing is that in spite of everything, I do rather like him. I can't help it. And sometimes I think he sees it and that seems to shrivel him up even more. Tablo says that Crocker Harris is shriveled inside like a nut, which is quite true. He is not open, he doesn't like flattery, and he doesn't like anyone who likes him. He is a hard taskmaster. He gives extra work to Taplo even on the last day of school. Taplo thinks he does this to punish him for being absent for a day last week. In spite of means despite, although. In spite of everything, Tablo says, I like him, I cannot help myself. In spite means without being affected by the particular factor mentioned. I like him, see, he says, and sometimes I think he sees it, and that seems to shrivel him up even more. That seems to make him more shriveled up, having no feelings. Frank says, I'm sure you are exaggerating. To exaggerate means to represent something as being worse than it really is. To exaggerate means to represent something as being larger, better or worse than it really is. It means to overstate or overemphasize. Here we can see that Frank mocks Mr. Croc Hayes. Tablo is ranting about his teacher, Mr. Crocker Hayes. He says that he is not a sadist and yet he has no feelings. No feelings at all. He is a type of person who might hate it when people like him. So Tablo agrees and calls Mr. Harris Croc again, to which Frank corrects him by saying his full name. Tablo corrects himself and admits that he still likes him and he cannot help it. Sometimes Mr. Harris sees it and he wrinkles even more, to which Frank replied that he must be exaggerating. Tablo says that Crocker Harris is shriveled inside like a nut. He continues by saying, No, sir, I am not exaggerating. In form the other day, he made one of his classical jokes. Classical means old-fashioned and grand. Of course, nobody laughed because nobody understood it myself included. Still, I knew he'd meant it as funny, so I laughed. Here, Tablo is narrating a story from the classroom. Mr. Crocker Harris was making one of his classical jokes, and nobody laughed because nobody understood it, including Tablo. Still, he knew he'd meant it as funny, so he laughed, out of ordinary, common politeness, and feeling a bit sorry for him for having made a poor joke. Here Taplo is saying that he is sharing that one day Mr. Crocker Harris cracked one of his classic jokes to which no one laughed. He understood that the joke was meant to be funny and laughed anyway because he wanted to be polite. He was feeling sorry for him for making such poor jokes. He says, 
He continues by saying that now I can't remember what the joke was. But suppose I make it. Now you laugh, sir. And Frank, Mr. Frank, laughs. Here we can see that Tablo doesn't remember what the joke was and he is asking Frank to suppose he cracked the joke right away and asked him to laugh. He imitated his teacher again and told Frank what his reaction was when he laughed at this joke. He says, in a gentle, throaty voice, he is imitating his teacher. So he says, Taplo, you laughed at my little joke, I noticed. I must confess that I am pleased at the advance your Latin has made since you are you so readily have understood what the rest of the form did not. Perhaps now you would be good enough to exp explain it to them, so that they too can share your pleasure. Here, after imitating his teacher again, Taplo says that Crocker Harris asked him to explain the joke to the rest of the class, to the rest of the form, as he was the only one who was laughing in the class. While Taplo narrates an incident of a classical joke cracked by Mr. Crocker Harris, Millie Crocker Harris enters the room. Millie Crocker Harris is Mr. Crocker Harris's wife. She is the wife of Mr. Crocker Harris. Millie is described as a woman in her thirties. She is a young wife of Mr. Crocker Harris. She is very kind-hearted towards the students, it is said. The door upright is pushed open and Millie Crocker Harris enters. She is a thin woman in her late thirties, rather more smartly dressed than the general run of schoolmaster's wives. She is wearing a cape and carries a shopping basket. She closes the door and then stands by the screen watching Taplo and Frank. It is a few seconds before they notice her. Here another character appears. This is Millie Crocker Harris, Mr. Crocker Harris's wife. She enters in the room and it is said that she is smartly dressed. It is said she is rather more smartly dressed than the general run of schoolmasters. General run means common, standard or average, a typical type of something. She is more smartly dressed than the average ladies. She is rather more smartly dressed than the general run of schoolmaster's wives. Mrs. Millie is wearing a cape. A cape is a long, loose garment, a cloak. She also carries a shopping basket. She closes the door and she stands by the screen watching Tablo and Frank. Only after a few seconds, they notice her. Frank says, come along, Taplo. And he moves slowly about the desk. Do not be so selfish as to keep a good joke to yourself. Tell the others. In that moment, he breaks off suddenly, noticing Millie. And he says, oh, Lord. Here, while mocking Mr. Crocker Harris, they realize, Frank realizes that his wife, Millie, is at the door. And he says, Oh Lord, 
he breaks off suddenly. He stops suddenly. Frank turns quickly and seems infinitely relieved at seeing Millie. Frank turns and he seems endlessly relieved. Infinitely means endlessly. To a great extent, to an infinite extent or amount. Infinitely means immensely. Relieved means Comforted. He is relieved to see Millie. And he tells her, Oh, hello. And Millie, without expression, says hello. She comes down to the sideboard and puts her basket on it. They say hello to each other and then she puts her basket on the sideboard. Sideboard is a flat top piece of furniture with cupboards and drawers. It is a piece of furniture. Taplo is now moving up to left of Frank. He is moving on the left and he is whispering frantically. Whispering means to speak silently. Frantically means desperately in a hurried way, in a distraught way, owing to fear or anxiety. Frantically means in a hurried, excited or unorganized manner. Here, Taplo is disturbed because he thinks that Mrs. Croc Harris could have heard them. Frank shakes his head comfortingly. Comfortingly means in a relieved manner. Millie takes off her cape and hangs it on the hall stand. Hall stand is a stand for hanging clothes, hats and so on. It is a tall piece of furniture with a mirror several pegs or arms for hats and other articles of clothing, a rack for umbrellas and a co compartment for storage. So as Frank was joking about telling the joke to others, he saw Millie and he stopped talking. Both Frank and Taplo felt her presence. Frank turned around and he was relieved by seeing her there and wished her hello. She replied hello without any expressions on her face and she put her basket on the sideboard. Taplo feels uneasy. He asks Frank in a desperate tone if she had heard any of their conversation. He says, do you think she heard? And Frank says, I think she did. She was standing there quite a time. Taplo is desperate. He asks Mr. Frank, do you think she heard? And he tells him, yes, I think she did. She was standing there for a while, for quite a time. Frank thought that she did hear him because she was standing there for quite some time. Millie took her cape off and she hung it on a hall stand. Taplo, in a worrying way, says if she did hear him, then he will not get his remove and Frank tells him not to think too much. He says, if she did and she tells him, there goes my remove. Taplo says, if she did hear him, then he will not get his remove. And Frank tells him nonsense. He crosses to the fireplace. Frank disagrees. In the meanwhile, Millie takes the basket from the sideboard, moves above the table and puts the basket on it. She tells to Taplo, 
waiting for my husband. And Pablo says, moving down left of the table, er, uh, yes. Here, they start a conversation. Millie says, he's at the Barsers and might be there quite a time. If I were you, I'd go. Millie tells him that her husband, Mr. Crocker Harris, is at the Barser. Barser is a person who manages the financial affairs of a college or school. And she tells him, if I were you, I would go. I would not wait. He will take quite some time. Taplo says doubtfully, he is not very comfortable with this idea. And he says, he says, he said most particularly, I was to come. Taplo wants to say that his teacher, Mr. Crocker Harris, told him he must come. And Millie gives a suggestion. She says, well, why don't you run away for a quarter of an hour and come back? She wants him to go for a quarter of an hour and then come back. While saying this, she unpacks some things from the basket. Taplo is asking her, supposing he gets here before me. What if he gets here before me? And Millie says, smiling, I'll take the blame. She takes a prescription out of the basket. She takes something from the basket. She takes a prescription a medical recommendation from a doctor. And she continues, I tell you what, you can do a job for him. Take this prescription to the chemist and get it made up. Taplo says, all right, Mrs. Crocker Harris. And he crosses towards the door upright. Millie. Crocker Harris suggests Taplo to go away for a quarter of an hour and come back later, as Mr. Crocker Harris is at the Barsers and may take quite some time to get back. Mrs. Millie, Miss Millie Crocker Harris, assures him to take the blame on herself and she hands Taplo a prescription, asking him to take it to the chemist and get it filled. Taplo accepts the proposal and leaves. This is a excerpt from Browning version, play written by Terence Rattigan. Why the name? The significance of the title is that it is the translation of the play by Robert Browning, that is, the one used throughout Radigan's drama. The title, Browning version, is first a direct reference to the fact that the text is an adaptation of Agamemnon's tragedy, written by Esacles. It means that the text is an adaptation by Robert Browning of the original. The Browning version constitutes in many respects a partial adaptation of Aeschylus' Agamemnon, a tragedy. The significance of the title is that it is the translation of the play by Robert Browning that is the one used throughout the drama. Over the course of the play, Crocker Harris increasingly comes to identify with the Aeschylus tragic hero. Now, what about the attitude shown by Taplo towards Crocker Harris. We said Mr. Crocker Harris is a middle-aged schoolmaster. He is a teacher in the traditional mode. 
He is a strict man who is more feared than respected. He follows rules and regulations with all sincerity. Taplo is in the lower fifth standard. His attitude towards Mr. Crocker Harris is mixed. He recognizes his sense of discipline, sense of devotion, and his stoic nature, but he has a personal feeling of ill will against Mr. Crocker Harris. He is given extra work on the last day of the term as punishment because he missed a day the previous week when he was ill. Mr. Crocker Harris is a hard taskmaster. That's why he gave extra work to Tablo. He doesn't bother that it is the last day of the term. Tablo feels that Mr. Crocker Harris is devoid of feelings. He feels that he is strict and can never be flattered. In spite of everything, Taplo likes him. Mr. Crocker Harris doesn't tell the results like the other masters before they are formally announced. That is why he is different from other teachers. Taplo doesn't consider Mr. Crocker Harris a sadist. He doesn't get pleasure out of giving pain to others. In his view, a sadist shows some feeling. But Mr. Crocker Harris has no feelings at all. And does Frank seem to encourage Taplow's comments on Crocker Harris? It is clear that Mr. Frank seems to encourage Taplow's comments on Mr. Crocker Harris. Mr. Frank is a young school teacher. He teaches in the same school in which Mr. Crocker Harris does his senior colleague. Actually, he is jealous of him. He is jealous of Mr. Crocker Harris. He frankly admits that Mr. Crocker Harris enjoys a wonderful hold over his students. They all seem scared to death of him. He is jealous of Mr. Crocker Harris's authority and effect on his students. He relishes all adverse comments against Mr. Crocker Harris. Not only that, he even encourages Taplow to criticize him. But he doesn't do it openly. He pretends not to like any adverse comments against Mr. Crocker Harris when Taplow calls his master Croc. However, when Taplow imitates Mr. Crocker Harris in his throaty voice, Mr. Frank relishes it. He loves to hear it. He even asks Taplow to repeat it. He enjoys Mr. Crocker Harris being ridiculed by his own student. Mr. Frank also asks Taplow to go away without meeting his teacher. But Taplow can't even imagine doing such a thing. He also encourages Taplow to share Mr. Crocker Harris jokes with him and Mr. Frank pretends to have no jealousy against Mr. Crocker Harris. He wants Taplo. He warns him that he has gone much too far in his criticism of Mr. Crocker Harris. And what do we gather about Mr. Crocker Harris from the play? We could say Mr. Crocker Harris is a middle-aged schoolmaster. He is quite reserved and a disciplinarian. He follows rules very strictly. He is a devoted teacher who can't tolerate any relaxation among his students. He is a hard taskmaster. He doesn't leak the results like other masters before they are formally announced. He is very conscious of his duty and he never spares a child who absents himself. He can give extra work to a student even on the last day of the term. Mr. Crocker Harris is also quite unpredictable. It is very difficult to read his mind. For instance, when Taplow asked him if he had given him a promotion, Mr. Crocker Harris replied mysteriously, that he has given him exactly what he deserves, 
no less and certainly no more. His junior colleague feels jealous of the effect Mr. Cropper Harris has on the students. And students seem to be scared to death of him. Like Mr. Frank says, Taplow says that Mr. Cropper Harris has no feelings. It is quite correct and he doesn't like flattery. He doesn't like anyone who likes him. Sometimes he also cracks jokes, but his classical jokes lack humor. In spite of everything, Taplow likes Mr. Crocker Harris. Dear students, I hope you enjoy the play. This is all for today. Have a nice day and see you soon.